Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Okay. Today, we're going to do a special science project. Now, we have been talking about renewable resources, non-renewable resources, conservation, and we've covered all that. So we're really excited today. You're going to take all that information that we have learned and that you have learned, and you're going to apply it to this lab today. Yesterday, we watched a video, Georgia Pacific, a paper mill. And I brought some things today that were made by Georgia Pacific. This white paper that you use all the time was made in that mill. This was, I think, made in the mill in Louisiana. Um, paper towels, sparkle, and I think um, brawny are made by Georgia Pacific tissues, and of course, toilet paper that we talked about um, with our biomass unit. So anyway, so we, um, today, we're going to do a special lab where you're going to design a paper. The Georgia Pacific Corporation has come to us to help them plan and design a new paper mill near Northbrook Middle School. These are a few guidelines that they want us to follow. So we have to follow these four things. It must use one or more alternative energy sources of power. So what is another word for alternative resources? Renewable. Renewable. Mm -hmm. Renewable. So it's got to use one. You could use two. You could use three. So think about that when you're, when you're asking questions to yourself. You must use the Georgia Pacific Sustainable Forestry Initiative and the plans. Remember yesterday, what was their Sustainable Forestry Initiative? They cut the tree, they grow them. Yes, 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 yes. When they cut a tree, they plant a tree. That's their initiative. They promise to do that. When they cut a tree, they plant a tree. Um, the mill needs to be cost efficient. What does cost efficient mean? What does cost efficient mean, Chance? A reasonable cost. A reasonable conserve cost. resources. What does conserve mean? Anybody? Save. 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 To save it. Mm -hmm. We've got to save as many resources as we can. And it's got to be environmentally friendly. That means it's got to fit in with the environment. We've got to use what's in that environment. Must utilize the three big R's. We talked about those. Remember, what are these? Reduce. What are some questions that you will need to ask yourself as you plan and design a paper mill in this area? So think about that for a minute. We're scientists and we're used to asking questions to ourselves. We have to ask questions to be able to find the answers. So think for just a minute. Just think for just a minute in your brain. What are some questions that you need to ask yourself as you design this? Hmm. What information do you need to consider when building this mill? Write down three to five questions on the note card that will help you decide where to build. So you get to pick the place. It's got to be near us. Where to build and how to design the mill. Use the information you have learned concerning renewable resources, <coughs> alternative, non-renewable, conservation, and the map to create your questions. So, we have a lot to think about. We have a lot of questions. Before we can come up with a plan, we've got to come up with some questions as scientists. So, turn your paper over. Look at the map. I printed you out a Google map. Do you see the big red spot? That's Northbrook. And we said it's got to be near us. It's got to be in our area. Do you see up above Northbrook all the blue? What is that? Water. Water. And what, what big body of water is that? Well, the Chattahoochee River flows into it and flows out of it. That's Lake Lanier. Right? All of that up there. Okay, like here's a satellite picture, which is a little bit different than your Google map. Here's Northbrook. Here's the interstate. So if you've been, here's 85, here's the interstate. Here's Buford that we've been talking about. So we're really only about 20 minutes from here to here. Right in here is the Buford Dam. Okay, right in there is the Buford Dam that we've been talking about. So here's the Chattahoochee River. You can see... It winds on your map all the way up through here, and it comes right in here to about where the middle of the dam is. It starts way up here in the mountains, where rivers start, up in the mountains. And it flows down the mountain, and it comes into the river. 
And we talked about a couple of days ago how this is a man-made lake. Remember? <laughs> Remember, bless you. Remember we talked about that. So we've already talked about that Lake Lanier is a man-made lake for, for getting power. So here's the dam. Here's the Chattahoochee. Chattahoochee, it flows through Roswell. We've got a dam in Roswell and um, the Morgan Dam and, a, and one other dam on the Chattahoochee. So I want you to think about this. Think about your landscape. Don't say anything, but this could be one of your questions. Can you, can you turn that thing away? Think about what kind of renewable power you can use in this paper mill, one or more kinds, you can do that. Think about the landscape around us. You could think about what type of such and such, such and such is near us. How could I such and such, such and such? I'll give you some question starters. If I were to such and such, such and such, what would I see questions like, what type of resource, renewable resource can I use? What type of alternative resource can I use? Hmm. How do I get the machinery to cut down those trees? Now this is going to be a paper mill. I love your questions. Oh, I like that sustainable. How do I cut down trees and where do I get the new trees to, to put back in? So you would probably have to also have a tree farm, wouldn't you? Like a greenhouse where you grew your own trees. I know that's what Georgia Pacific, they do with several other plants. They do with the one in Louisiana. They have their own tree farm. So they grow the seedlings, just like we saw yesterday. They put in a seedling. When they cut a tree, hey, this is what you're going to do. I'm going to bring you a sheet of construction paper. And I want you with your table partner, with your elbow partners, to start designing and thinking about a plant. Start with the building, and then you can move outside to the grounds and see what you can come up with. It has to follow those guidelines. Okay? Georgia Pacific. I'm really going to give these to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brainstorm with your group your ideas on designing a new paper mill. Make notes of your design on your note card so you can make notes. So when you get with your partner, I want you to start brainstorming ideas on how you can design this. You can make a, a sketch on the other side of your note card or whatever, but brainstorm what you're going to do together. Come up with the best ideas. Make sure that you go by those four guidelines that Georgia Pacific gave us to do. Okay? You're going to design the blueprint for the Georgia Pacific Swanee Paper Mill. And you don't have to name it Swanee. You can name it a different name. You can come up with your own name. Using the large construction paper, make sure you include the following. So this needs to be in it. Landscape, the building, the energy sources, all the parts of the process to convert the energy sources into energy. So remember we talked about if you're using... I don't want to give you any answers, but you've got to have different, you know, boxes and different wiring and different, you might have different um, mechanisms for each type of renewable energy source. So think about that, okay? Go ahead and start planning. Use indoor voices and I'll bring the construction. Okay. Okay. Nature. 
Okay, how are you going to are you going to recycle at your plant? How could you recycle? At a paper plant, how could you recycle? Paper? Mm -hmm. Could you have what do we not have here that we need? We talked about. Yeah, like a big dumpster outside, a big container that we can recycle in. So maybe you could have some of those. Some people could come and bring those, bring the recycling to you, and you can recycle and leach that paper back out and clean it. They make paper pulp. To protect the environment. It's going to be sustainable. Are you going to plant trees after you cut them? Perfect. Okay. Think about what you're going to use, products you're going to use to, to make your um, building, and then um, how you're going to incorporate all this into your building. It's a lot to think about, isn't it? Yes. I know. You've got to put those brains to work. you got to wake up. Good job. Okay, guys, you've come up with some great, great, great ideas. Now, this is going to take us a while, so we're going to work on this again tomorrow. So be prepared tomorrow to finish up your work and be prepared to share tomorrow your ideas. I think you're doing a great, great job. You're following those four guidelines. You're using renewable energy. You're using sustain, you're sustaining your products. You're using good, sustainable ideas. You're environmentally friendly. And you're coming up with some awesome ideas just for our area. So we've got to, we've got to use renewable resources that we can get to easily. And it'd be a good price. So thank you so much for doing this. And we are going to finish this tomorrow. Think about it tonight, too, so you can add some things to your drawing tomorrow. Okay, thank you.